All right, good morning, everybody. So I just got done weighing myself. Uh, I just put my clothes and everything like back on, kind of in a hurry this morning. Woke up a little late. So this is what I weigh today, 183.4. Now, I weighed myself with no clothes on, and the way my wife was saying, the gym scale is like two pounds heavier, two pounds different. She didn't think my clothes were gonna make much of a difference. So when I put my clothes back on, I weighed myself again. My weight was 186.3, so that adds a three pound difference from clothes. So just so you guys know, whenever you weigh yourselves, just try to weigh yourselves without any clothes on, because you're gonna lose three pounds essentially most of the time, or occasionally, whenever you're not wearing any clothes. All right, so I missed lunch today. Right now I'm currently fixing to eat lunch. So I'll show you guys what I got. So you got some chicken in there with a little bit of green beans. Here's a potato over there. Got some paste, picante sauce on there. I also didn't get to eat breakfast, so I got two servings of oatmeal on there. I've noticed that I haven't been hitting my carbs at the end of the night, so I'm trying to up my carbs a little bit. But, the most important thing to have during a diet, <laughs> vanilla Coke Zero. Love Coke Zero. Whenever they started like making vanilla Coke Zero, oh, love it. It's amazing. All right, so just got done with cardio. Did 30 minutes of that burned 192 calories from doing 30 minutes. Yeah. So I set my incline up all the way on 9%. Did about 2.5 half the time, the other half the time to two. We're eating dinner now. I said I'm gonna take a shower from Nancy, but for dinner, got some steak, potatoes, and a salad, and that Coke Zero. So, I noticed that I haven't shared with you guys how much yeah. calories and everything I have in my fitness yeah. pal. So, there is my fitness pal. That's how many calories I start out with for the day. And this is what I'm currently at. So, yeah. Probably like one, two more things tonight. But it will continue to go down. Take about 150 to 100 calories out each week. Kind of reverse dieting. Find out where I start losing that pound per week at. That way I don't jump too far in the diet and start stalling. You know, as soon as I start. That's basically what reverse dieting is. So that's the plan. It's going good so far. Eat this. Take a shower. Okay, so to finish yeah. off the calories, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. One serving of peanut butter, one serving of jelly. The bread, of course. And then I had this, which is crunchy granola raisin bran. And then a non fat milk. That finished me off, put me about 42, 42 calories over. Which isn't bad because I actually did cardio, so it kind of is going to fluctuate a little bit. So it's not too bad. Anyway, that's going to end it off for the night. Alright, so, so I have not vlogged for a few days. Actually just a day, not a few days. Anyway, yeah, today's been a very frustrating day. Just some stuff that happened at work. No big deal, I'm just kind of a wee bit ticked off. But it's alright. You know why it's alright? Because I'm at the gym. And I'm going to burn that frustration into some muscle that you would not believe. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah. That's what I'm about to do. I'm we'll going to the gym. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record anything yet. I still am trying to get used to my new gym. Uh, if I can, I'll probably record a deadlift session. My deadlift session for sure. Not really sure yet. But I also have a trainer today. The first introductory trainer to kind of see where your body fat is. All that fun stuff. Anyway... Yeah, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so for dinner, having some turkey, green beans, brown rice. My cook back there, Hi. serving up all the deliciousness. So I didn't have much of a workout today due to doing my assessment. So we measured me and everything. I still can't, <laughs> I can't remember my measurements are. I meant to get them from him and write them down so I can kind of let you guys know they're not anything super impressive, that's for sure. But, yep, I'm gonna eat this and then spend some time doing whatever we decide to do afterwards.
commentary, everybody. So as you can see, this is the new gym. The equipment looks brand new and shiny because the gym's not very old. But I'm doing a leg press here, and as far as leg press goes compared to the other leg press in the previous gym, this one was a bit lighter, so I'm going to have to go heavier on the weight. As you can see, I'm not really struggling too much until the third, fourth rep, so definitely going to have to go heavier on that the next time. But all in all, it seems like it went good, so I just have to remember to go heavier next time. Now this here is actually just a leg curl, and you've seen me do these before in the previous gym, but this one was so weird. It was different. I could totally feel the contraction way more in my hamstrings than what I actually did in the previous gyms. You do load regular metal plates or rubberized metal plates, however you want to say it, rather than having a cable system. But I just I could feel it so much more in this than I could the other one. Now this is a bit weird too, and you're gonna see it's you know just a normal calf press. But right there, as you can see, I had to move it back over and pull my my shorts up because it was I was like sliding back, and that's never happened before on the other one. But I I don't know this one's a bit different in the angle and everything's different than the ones I've previously done. So. It just goes to show you guys, a lot of the exercise equipment you use, even if it has the same function and the same movement, it could possibly be a little bit different. So make sure you pay close attention to that when you guys are out there exercising in different gyms. Alright, and this is just a calf raise. Now, I was really excited about this because we didn't have one in the previous gym. So I was able to actually use one for the first time, and I really enjoyed it. I could really feel my calves contracting and, you know, being able to do that movement without, you know, holding onto a pair of dumbbells or with something on your shoulders like a barbell was awesome. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I could feel it more. I mean, compared to some other calf type press movements. But yeah, here's here you can see like how the upper part actually works. You've probably seen them before, but this is the first time I've ever gotten to use one. See, I think it worked out great because I was able to, you know, just set the weight to what I wanted it to be instead of having to load plates like I did previously. So, all in all, I mean, I think it saved a lot of time just being able to do it this way rather than putting it on like a, you know, a squat, hack squat, and then doing it that way. And last but not least, guys, this is the glute ham raise. I'm sure you've seen this before. I'm like coach using it, uses it. Uh, I've seen a bunch of different people use it, but it was awesome. I could feel my glutes and my hands firing. It's a great, great exercise. I uh, haven't gotten to use one up until this point, so I did not have it set correctly, but all I need to do is move it forward, but I could still feel it. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's, it's a great, great piece of equipment. I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to making my gains on it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so it's been a pretty long day today. We went to the gym. I didn't have a set program or anything. I kind of uh, just worked on all my form and all that. Did a lot of stretching because I hurt my rhomboids in the back of my shoulder here. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I'm just trying to take it easy on that. Tomorrow is going to be a push day. So we'll see how they feel tomorrow. But tonight is Saturday, and tonight is the night the contest ends, so I'm going to go ahead and run that contest picker now. And this is what I'll be using. So we go here, copy the link. Enter it in here. It loads all the comments, and then you click this little button, focus, it's randomly pick winner. And there it is. The winner is Grenarkledick. Grenarkledick. It says 2016 goals, big back, and 275 pound shoulder press. I don't have far to go on either, but that's where I'm starting this year. So, I'll get all, that all set up and shipped out to him. 
And that's it. That's pretty much all we did tonight, guys. We had watched a movie, a couple movies with the kids, watched a couple movies ourselves, so that was pretty fun. It's time for bed now, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and teach their own.